Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. This is my little friend Doc. I am babysitting Doc. Doc was rescued out of Middleborough Road. He was matted up and his demeanor, we've kind of speculated that maybe an older person had him and maybe had to go into a home or something and their family may have put Doc out just for that's how some stupid people are. But anyway, Doc stayed with me for a few days. He's a good little fella. And uh, he asked to wear a diaper, but that happens. I'd take it off, we'd go outside, and he's enjoying being out here in the country. He don't know what to make of hogs. <laughs> and, uh, but he was rescued, and, uh, He's got a lot of years on him. He probably don't have but eight teeth. But he's a good little fella. And, uh, he's funny as everything. He takes my socks. I've got socks all over the place. <laughs> where he's, he loves playing with them. And, uh, but what kind of plan do you have for your animals if something happens to you? I've got mine in place. I've got a neighbor of mine. and I wrote up a power of attorney for her for my animals uh, my cat she said she'd take my cats and she's got an old barn that she'd like to have them at and my hogs she'll sell them and that money will go to support cats and my dogs and find them a good home you know she might take my dogs. she said she said she would make sure she found them a good home and she'd check on them and uh you say what what if in the comment section, I'd like to know because this is something that needs to be addressed. You know, I'm older. I might kick the bucket tonight, and you know, my animals. I don't want them just going to the shelter or whatever. I want them taken care of. You know, they're they're my family is what I consider it. But let me know in the comment section what you're doing. Give us some ideas, and uh, make sure it's binding because you know our relatives are, but. I'll tell you a story about a cat I got one time, and I think I've got a picture of it, and that may be the picture of him in the thumbnail of this video. Well, uh, the cat's name was Leopard, and a friend of mine that was a dog warden uh, got a call from this woman, and she was her mama was in the early stages of dementia, Alzheimer's. I don't know which one. Well, she was moving out of her apartment in with her daughter for a little while. I imagine she eventually had to get her assisted living. Well, she had a cat. She loved that cat. That cat was her baby. Well, they had packed up everything except one chair, that woman's suitcase, a cat, and the cat's things. And uh, the daughter said she was going to call the pound to come get the cat. And the mother said, oh, no, you ain't calling the pound. She said, and she, I guess she's trying to trick the mother and saying, well, Said, you know, you're going to have to do that. She said, no, I got my suitcase. We can live in the woods together. She said, it'll be all right. And uh, so Heather talked with the lady, and just so happened, it was about an hour from me, and I wasn't doing anything that day. And she called me up. She said, hey, can you help me out with this? And I said, what's the situation? I said, well, you know, the cat's got to be fixed, got to have its front claws, and stays outside. And she relayed all that to the lady. She said, yeah, she said, can you come talk to me? I said, yeah, I said, give me about an hour and I'll be there. So I went there to the apartment and I talked to the lady. And the way things are usually done, people want to know your name and your family. Even though this lady probably didn't know none of my family, she wouldn't want to, you know, know about me. And I, I've been in those conversations before. So I told her, you know, about all my cats and showed her some pictures of some I had on my phone. I said, ma'am, you can't won't stay inside. I said, I'm a bachelor. I said, and I can't keep that clean a house to have an animal inside for a prolonged period. She understood that. She said, uh, what do they do? I said, they get fat, and I hope they catch a mouse. But she laughed. She said, would you take my cat? I said, yes, ma'am. She said, well, I got a little bit of food for him, too. I said, well, I got plenty of food. She said, well, I'm not going to be able to use this. I said, you take it, son. So I told Heather, I said, Heather, I'm going to send you a picture of this cat at the house. 
I want you to make sure that lady gets it. That's my one requirement. She said she will. So sure enough, she got in touch, gave the lady the picture of her cat. And uh, he said that lady was really happy. You know, it gave her peace of mind knowing, you know, this cat was looked after. I had leopard quite a few years. And uh, eventually as it happens, some cats, when they know their end is near, they disappear. But let me know in the comment section what kind of plan you have for your cats. I mean, we do it for our kids and stuff. We'll have wheels and stuff. And what about our animals? I'm interested to see what, you, what kind of ideas y'all can give us. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.